Hello ladies and gents, Tom here from the Vaping Iwi. This is just going to be a quick review and look at the Council of Vapor Mega Volt. This device is an 80 watt device with an integrated 1750 milliamp hour battery. The front of the device sports the fire button as well as the plus and minus buttons, which also double up as navigation for the system. On the top of the device there is a small display which is where you will see all the readings from the system. The upper half of the device is coated with a grip like paint and the bottom half is a clear coated metal finish. This device has a very sturdy spring loaded 510 pin which so far I've had no issues with. The bottom of the device is where you'd find the USB port which supports quick charge and charges the device fully in a whopping 30 minutes. In terms of the system itself it's extremely user friendly. The display is bright and visible at all angles with a clear view of the wattage and battery level at all times. The resistance is simply accessed by pressing the plus button when the device is on. The firing mode is accessed with the minus button. To adjust the wattage simply press the plus button and the firing button at the same time and you will be able to adjust it. Once you've reached the desired wattage just press the fire button and it will lock it into place. There are more menu options available with a quick triple press of the fire button. By default this device comes with a 10 minute cutoff timer but you can turn that feature off in this menu and I've found it to make no impact in terms of battery life. This is the Council of Vapor Mega Volt uh, at 80 watts on a 0.38 in the recoil. This mod is fantastic as a day-to-day -day carry around thanks to its minute footprint and pairs stunningly with any 22mm tank or RDA. Any atomizer greater than this will cause a slight overhang on the front of the device but if that doesn't bother you then they work perfectly fine as you can see uh, with the recoil previously. Um, in terms of battery life I'm comfortably getting a full day's worth. Uh, at 60 watts on my TFV8 Baby Beast. I also comfortably know that if I do end up sort of running out of battery during a day where I haven't charged it the prior night, I can just plug it into my uh, car adapter and it charges in 30 minutes flat. Uh, so it's, it's really nice knowing that you have that security of extremely quickly charging it. It does not support pass-through vaping, uh, as in vaping while charging. Uh, but it's due to the high amperage that it's charging at. Sitting currently at $99 here in New Zealand, it is fairly priced for its capabilities. What I personally would have liked to have seen is a bit more quality put into the full uh, carbon fiber stickers on the side. Uh, for example, the use of real carbon fiber or kind of like aligning the stickers properly. But aside from this minor detail, it's definitely a stellar mod for its size. And on that note, that wraps up this quick little look and review of the Council of Vapor Megavolt. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure to catch us on the show on Saturdays here in New Zealand. Uh, or go back and watch any of the replays of the shows. Uh, we did both combined myself and cam review this on the last episode before christmas uh, so if you want to hear cam's opinion on this device i believe he's going to be doing a review as well and uploading it soon uh, just so you guys can get a bit of an alternate um kind of opinion on the same device uh, as everyone you know everyone has a varying opinion about devices um but yeah, make sure to catch us on the shows and we'll have some new stuff coming out. Uh, it is the first show back this weekend, so don't forget to tune in. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any comments.